He's playing very well. But the Syed, Syed's executing the cross straights very well. And we've had two 7-5 games. And Syed able to read Pete's right wall attempt. Good shot, good release. And you, you there are a lot of theories about air hockey out there. Side with a cut, go one nothing. Uh, there are those out there that say that air hockey is more offense. It's more about scoring every possession. But then there are those of us, and I'm among them, that believe that defense is still the more important part of the game. And I mean, really, it, it's a true balance. Like any sport, you need to be able to do both. You need to be able to hit your shots. But the there, there's really no limit. There's only there's only you can only hit a puck so hard, and there's only so many shots. But defensively the human ability to read and react and see what's coming at you. There's really no limit to how fast a human being can be. And so I've always been a proponent of you, you want to have stronger defense. You want to be faster reacting. And Syed scores again. Is that 3 or it's either 3 2 or 4 2? I lost track of the score there. Okay, 3 2 Syed. As I was going off on my theory about offense and defense, and Danny Hines, you know, for years and years, has won ten world titles, has very good offense, but uh, his uh, the ability of his defense to carry him through key games and matches and lock down at the sixth points is phenomenal. And it's four two Syed. 5-2 left wall under sight. It just seems an absolute command of the set. And Pete needs to find something to dig himself out. Wow, that left wall under again. Syed's cross left wall under seems to be working now. He's a quick left wall under by Pete there. 6-3. And Syed with a quick cut. 7-3. And yeah, I think that game, it just didn't look like Pete was putting a whole lot into it. He... he Looks a little complacent right now. I think he's a little confused.